There is no doubt that changes in weather patterns, more frequent droughts, floods, intensive storms and heat waves are becoming an all too regular feature here in the Northwest. July 2021 was the hottest month ever recorded worldwide. And closer to home, we've experienced one of our most active weather years with floods, strong winds, and warmer than average temperatures. As we start to come to terms with these increased extremes of more sudden and frequent wet and dry weather events, our homes, gardens, and outdoor spaces need to become more climate resilient. This requires us to think differently about how our homes cope with increased rainfall and how we can be less dependent on mains water and fossil fuels. Companies like United Utilities aim to provide more resilient services to tackle changes in the climate and the extremes of weather it brings. This includes managing water demand and supporting their customers to use water more efficiently by sharing hints and tips which can help all of us save money and reduce waste. Things like water butts, for example, are a fantastic way to capture rainfall and conserve water. Some of the intense rainfall we now see puts homes and businesses at risk of flooding. Too much water not only causes surface and sewer flooding, but also causes pollution. So what can we do about it? I'm here at RHS Garden Bridgewater a wonderful garden in Salford, which is showcasing how gardens can help manage water supplies, enhance biodiversity, and enhance the environment. But it's not just at places like these where we can make a difference. You can in your own home too. By transforming our spaces, we're promoting water efficiency, improving biodiversity, our air quality, and our well-being. Gardens, even small ones play an important role in preventing surface water flooding, particularly in urban areas. Gardens, unlike tarmac, paving and concrete, which often make water runoff worse, help to soak up rain. And we can all manage weather extremes in our own garden by planting drought resistant plants, flood resistant plants, and plants that reduce surface water runoff or slow it down. If you choose plants and trees with more dense canopies, not only do you provide shade, but you increase the amount of water that evaporates from their leaves. Ultimately, if we all make a few small changes, it can all add up to make a big difference.